Welcome back to Vikings Game Plan from the TCO studios. It's Pete Bursich, analyst for the Vikings Radio Network. Let's take a look at some Green Bay Packers film, beginning with Aaron, not Rodgers, Jones. All right, Paul, first caption, keeping up with the Joneses, we're going to talk about Aaron Jones, the running back that they have. He's the one guy that we're seeing a lot of with Green Bay lately that we did not see in our first game against them. And yeah. really what's changing about Green Bay is, is they want to get the running game going. They want to run as much as they possibly can. And we know that they have two good tackles in Bulaga and Bakhtiari. In this case here, you got a number count issue. And that's because of Aaron Rodgers. You have two deep safeties and only three linebackers underneath. So this is just a good way of them to play the shell game. They get angles on all three blocks up front. Nice. And then they, get, jo they get Jones. A Jimmy Graham block. Exactly right. Damn. He, he kind of got in a way. He got in a way. <laughs> but he gets outside. But here's the key. is you look at the sticks, they're right here. That's yeah. the first down marker. They have plenty of bodies to get here yeah. and make them line up and snap it again. But he's Jones, he's, he has some quicks. He gets what's, around what's that guy, linebacker. What's your guy doing? Yeah, the corner doesn't want to stick his nose in there. I mean, that's what happened. You'll see that equation. You'll see it against Seattle, too, which is a bit of a surprise. But we take a look at it from the end zone. Really, this is kind of old school. You have a tight end and a, and a fullback, yeah. really. But they have only – They don't roster a fullback. Exactly right. They only have seven guys. Now, the problem you have – is when you have the wide nine technique, he gets so wide, the tackle gets him, they get a fullback to lead up, and now we've got a problem underneath. Nice. You just don't have the number count. Yep. And you'll see that open up, and when you get guys on different levels, the defensive end, this gap right here just becomes too big to defend for the linebackers to two gap underneath. But like you said, Paul, if you make that tackle right there, they snap the ball again. You have three guys around him, and he ends up getting another 10 yards. That's what Aaron Jones brings to the table. We'll see it again in this situation. Equinemia St. Brown, Notre Dame guy, right? Folding back in. And we've seen this offense, we've seen a ton of it. There's always somebody who's folding back inside. Everybody over here over pursues. The linebacker stays on the front side, able to kick out. But the north and south speed here, wow, that's what makes the difference, and it gets him into the end zone. So that's what he's bringing to the table, and yeah. that's what they're going to count on. They're going to need something like that. Now we go against Seattle, a much more – you would think physical defense, but one thing you have to keep in mind, when receivers bunch up like this, right, they're doing it for a reason. They're gonna stretch you either out here or stretch you over this way, or maybe send somebody up the, up the middle. But as defenders, you usually have to have a number count, first out, first in. You watch this corner right here. As soon as this ball is snapped. Technically, that's nine in the box. Exactly. As soon as this ball is snapped, the first two receivers do what? They go inside the block. Yep. He follows the outside receiver for some reason, and now you have no leverage on the outside. A vanguard. And exactly, and you're pulling a tackle, so you've got a tackle in space. And when you get to this point, though, as a, defense, as a defender, you've got to run and stick your nose in there, and you yeah. watch him on this. He's just kind of tippy-toeing his way out there. He's at the eight Aaron knows he's in. Exactly. Body on a, yeah, exactly. Awesome. Body, on a body. They're doing some funky things with the number count, but when you watch the Bears offense and the Rams and teams that we've played, yeah. they do this stuff all the time. I think we're going to be pretty well equipped to handle those kind, you know, that, kind of a, that kind of a running tack. So, again, the stars. Aaron Jones, this is something else that he brings to the table. You get a little cross route up here. And we have, we've talked about it a million times. When you're a defender, you can't be on the same level. If you're on the same level, then you, have, you can run into each other and pick each other. And in this case, you have the linebacker one-on-one -on -one in space. And normally at this junction, the linebacker sits because he's, he's ready for him to go either in or to go out. Yeah. Very rarely do the running backs go vertically. And he's able to get behind the linebacker. He turns really over his right shoulder. The ball's delivered on the other side. He kind of bails Aaron out. So you don't see running backs with the ability necessarily down the field to run a vertical route, look over the shoulder, make an adjustment, and make a catch. Offensive line, you know, the, the Seattle got to him a little bit, and this is something that I see hopefully with our defensive line. Here they're just running the elongated stunt. You're, just, you're seeing a penetrator from the defensive end side and then the nose tackle looping all the way around. This is kind of a, a, a bit of a trend in the NFL, but they don't give Aaron the ability to do what? to escape to the outside. They're yep. making him step up inside into the pursuit, and we're going to get a really good view of it on the next play. Pretty smart what they do here with Jerron Reed. So if there's nobody here, what do these guys do? Well, basically, you have three, def you have three rush guys over here, right, for three linemen, yep. one, two, and then the center. So the guard 
will step this way yeah. to be that fourth guy. Leaving one of your best tackles, yeah, he's one-on-one -on -one in space. You leave him one-on-one -on -one with the defensive end, Aaron, I think, could pick up the rest of it. Yeah. But all they're trying to do is to get this guard to step down. And you'll see it's Bell at guard. Yep. He steps down, and he's turning his shoulders, and his feet are real close together. So fundamentally, he's a mess right now. <laughs> and as he tries to redirect, the penetrator gets in there and just picks him off. So nice tight loop by, you know, by the nose tackle to get around and then penetrate and get in there. So nice. this run stunts, some of the stuff that we saw against the Bears before, those movements, those kinds of things are really giving their offensive line trouble. Now you got Bulaga, one-on-one, -on -one, little spin move underneath. These are the moves that our defensive ends are more, <laughs> they're very, very capable of doing. But Seattle's looping this nose tackle around late for late contain, right? They're looping him around late. Again, make Rodgers not feel that comfortable, but this is what you can't do. Yep. You have to continue. See what happens here is he jumps, right? He's yep. jumping. You never want to jump if you're a pass rusher. You want to keep coming out here, and you're going to see what ends up happening. This is only what a handful of people on the planet can do. You give them all that room. You have three underneath receivers, but no. I'm going to throw it 40 yards in the air wow. on a full run. And hit the backside. That's and that corner. That that's corner, the tight end, Tanyan. His first uh, reception was the touchdown. And this corner, or safety on the backside, you know, he's outside shade. He has to cover this guy all the way across the field. I mean, that's, that's very, very difficult for him to do. Yeah. So you have to be very, very disciplined when you're covering Aaron Rodgers. you got to keep him in the pocket. We, we know about that. He can get yourself down the field. But they're going to try with Aaron Jones to run the football in the box. They're on the road. Those are the things I think they're going to try to be a little more balanced in their running and passing attack. Yeah. And it's going to be huge in our defensive linemen to be able to take up more than one, just one offensive lineman because you're going to want to keep two safeties deep against this passing game.